All right, do we take, do we do a Kovan game? Because I really never use this hero, but I might as well get one under my belt at some point here, right? Let's go Kovan. Eldritch ban, rat ban. It does suck that rats are banned, honestly, because Kovan's like all right with it. <laughs> yeah, completely. This is why I don't like this hero, man. I'm already regretting it. I'm already regretting it. Like... Ugh, yuck, yuck, yuck. Anyway, um, I'm gonna lock this. There's no point taking the mana pest if I already have free mana there. Um, probably should have took the. I mean, I definitely should have took the anemone. I don't know why I did that, but whatever. Uh, let's try to not till. Oh gosh, this is so annoying. It's like, ugh, why can't my covens be like the enemy covens? They always start with like, you know, death contract or fucking. Meat on the bone. I get something absolutely useless for me. Oh, how can I not complain? How can I not complain? How can I not complain? I can't. It's fucking 100% I'm going to complain here. This shit is bullshit. Alright, let's fucking untilt myself so I can do smarter shit like taking a Nemonot turn one instead of a Sprout. Here, I'll go ahead and lie to you and say it was correct to take the Sprout because there was a chance I could get another Sprout. There you go. Even though I'm locking the free mana, I can easily afford another. Oh, yeah, you know, and then we'll say this. Yeah, there's just no way I can actually justify it because in the context that, like, you know, a uh, if a Sprout was what's going to replace my unit, even then it was just, there's no way taking the Sprout there made it sense. All right, let's get the thing I wish I had, Death's Contract. Um, I suppose I'm fine with this dying if, if need be. Fine with that dying too, though. But I want the Manifest to die. MOTF Games, he plays, uh, or he streams, if you ever want to check him out. Definitely just take this, right? And I guess we just take this? like that I think I don't know that we're gonna lose this manifest here we got a really stupidly strong board actually well I guess technically the axe isn't a complete whiff but it is in the context that almost every treasure other than like extra treasure is going to do some wow we get absolutely murdered here what the fuck oh my god yeah, no kill units, sure. Why not? Why fucking not? Uh, I'm just gonna roll this. Fuck this. I need to actually use my power and... This'll work. This'll work. Uh, we could take another one of these. Put this one here, I guess. Something like that, yeah. Alrighty. I'd like this thing to do some work for us with this Executioner's Axe and Death's Contract. We can get it actually going pretty quick here. Other than that, I mean, all of the all of the three cost killers are in the pool, so maybe this ends up being okay. Let's try to look at the uh, glass being ten percent full here. We want uh, Greg, we want Clan Lord, but more important, we want Dolish. Dolish is the unit we want. That was a good hit. That was a beautiful hit. Dolish, you are so good. We're going to lose this fight. Can I stop losing fights, please? Frostbite, they're pretty good. I've seen them around. Uh, put this back here roll I almost don't even want this Here, let's move these before I forget I don't really want it I just want the dullish to be tripled yeah I definitely lock for that with the Zoe PM Howard they just kicked our ass last game uh, I was kind of hoping they would win the game but if they're in this game already, they must have died pretty quick, unfortunately. I got fourth in the last game. 
didn't really end up being that recording worthy, unfortunately. But, you know, to give props to Howard, he definitely took us out. Or they, they definitely took us out. What else do we got in this game? So we got MTF games. This is a pretty stacked lobby, honestly. Probably DX Grey is obviously good. Like, I think I've seen this Mouch guy around. They've been pretty good. Gosh, so many. So many things. Well, on the bright side, looks like they won't be getting their Wraith insurance. <laughs> Jesus, what a fucking fight for them, though. We suck. Well, this is cool. I'm never taking Coven again. This is, this is abysmally bad. Uh, I could take Safety Helm and this, I guess, because none of... Literally, somehow, even with... This is why I hate fucking Coven, man. It's like... Even with the extra choices, you're often just not... And it's also why I never take extra treasure unless I'm rats, right? Like... Or, or maybe Lars. It's like... You basically don't even get anything here. It's like... What do I take? Uh... Safety Helm and take the cavalry, I guess? Cast that? I mean, what else can I do? Everything else is trash. It's absolute trash. Uh, manifest. Let's give you some health. I do want you to, like, fucking pop off here, so... If you can survive the hit, more power to you. They probably have giant fucking underguardsmen's, though. So hopefully we don't get 12.5 to you. They ran it in four. Definitely should run that in slot one. Same with a shark, like three is weird. They're pretty lucky to, to be getting slays if they're running it in three. Maybe they don't want I could. I see the argument that maybe they don't want slays. They're trying to triple it. Like that's probably legit. Okay, definitely we take this to try to fucking not get fifth. Or, if, you know, fifth or below. Here comes the bananas. Uh, we should run both of these. Safety helm in front of this definitely looks good to me. Probably probably more so than the boots. I don't really respect boots here. I guess if I'd take an arcane offering, I would. But if I'm going to take safety helm, I might as well use safety helm. You know what I mean? We want Tina, I think. I don't even know if I want to triple that. There's not any three costs really that help me at this point. Um, especially considering, like, I kind of want to keep all these treasures, more or less. I guess they. Uh, I guess I could replace Execution with Axe with a uh, Force Antiplier. That's about all I can think I would replace. Do I lock for a Bucky? I don't think so. Everything else is just not good for me. I'd rather find Serpentina. Alright, no freaking bananas. It's weird. People have stopped, like, griefing me so much. It's weird. I haven't I really not been feeling the grief lately, which is weird, because I'm actually, like... It's probably hypocritical of me to say this, but I honestly really don't care about my MMR that much anymore, even though it's actually, like, so far... It's so far up there at the moment. But, um, yeah, I've lost my train of thought. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, it's weird that now that I'm so far ahead on MMR, people are not griefing me anymore. I don't know. Maybe the griefers just got tired of the game. I gotta tell you, I am not tired of this game. This game is impressing me more and more each day. Like, I find it incredibly well balanced. It's It actually kind of rubs me... It rubs me the wrong way when I see a lot of complaints about balance, because this game is the best balance game of this genre I've ever played, ever, in its current state. Not that it's like, there's always things you can change, but it's like, and I'm guilty of this too, right? Like, when I first started, I was like, eh, these things feel unbalanced here and there, but like, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is like, as I've played more, so many of my preconceived notions about balance or whatever are just simply off. Okay, we can triple this. Uh, replace the Executioner's Axe with fresh meat. Honestly, yeah. That's fine. 
I don't care about an extra 1-1. One, one. I'm already getting so much scaling on a Great Bite when it slays. I'd rather just get a bunch of health. We'll s like, I've already saved one hit there. That would have been a death. So, it's already not really changing anything in the context that I have Safety Helm, but it also is just better with a Safety Helm, right? I still don't know that tripling this helps me. Um, I'm gonna not. And uh, maybe it's wrong. I'm gonna put this here. I could probably cut this, honestly. Um, we're gonna put Serpentina in eventually. Today is not that time, though. I guess I could be tripling that. Okay, I'll tell you what. If I see Cavalry again, I'll triple it. I, I would like the double casting of Ritual. There we go. Alright, you can go out. Uh, you had a nice stay. But, uh, yeah. It's, I guess your time has come. One, two... Okay, I'll tell you what. You guys did good service, but... I have this Helm. Let's still get that value. I'll play down. It's fine. I don't lose much here. We're pretty freaking strong. DX Gray might be pretty freaking strong too, though. But yeah, we, we got a lot of power up here. The, the worst case scenario, the Blood Mage gets sniped. That's always a possibility. I am thinking Anima. Anemona, I think, takes priority on an assassin at least, so it'd have to be targeted strike specifically or overkill. Yeah, he has the Grek, but. It should hit the anemone, yeah, because it's in a lower number slot. We should win this now. By the way, we're going to have quite a lot of extra stats here from the resummons. Alright, they're looking alright though. I wouldn't be surprised if DX Grey and Zoe, certainly Zoe. MOTF Games too, we don't know what they got. Uh... Take this, I guess. I mean, that's a lot of stats. Take this. Hopefully we re-roll into a one cost. We don't. I guess I'll triple this. It sucks that we couldn't cash in on this uh, amulet, but it just kept giving us bullshit high cost spells. Uh, not only high cost spells, but it's like, they're really bad ones, right? Like. Frontline Fortifications, I really don't know. I mean, it's technically good tempo, but compare that to like Eruption, I would much rather cast Eruption if it's a one-time non-permanent thing that's just supposed to help the next fight. Like, there's no way Fortline uh, fort Fortifications even touches the surface of Eruption on average. Maybe in rare niche scenarios it's better, but I'm just not seeing it. I don't even think the resummons gain it. Maybe they do. Maybe they do. Really? You're so fucking big? What the hell? How the hell do you have a fucking upgraded Hellfire Knight already? Jesus fucking Christ. Talk about high rolling. My god, dude. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Hey, hey, hey. What the fuck? <laughs> and hell, I guess I. They must have upgraded a mine sapper and. I don't even know how the hell that happened. Jesus. Fuck me. Get rid of this. We have this combo at least going for us. Um. We need to just get top four at this point. Let's just live with the fact that we're we're pretty fucked here. Uh, we can definitely cast that. Don't know that I get weird beast. I just don't think a weird beast is gonna do much for me. Could have maybe also justified the evolution. I don't even want to triple this. Let's just get this thing stronger. Whatever, I guess I'll cast that <laughs> immediately into eruption. Do we take double squid? Are we desperate enough to make that play? I think I'd rather... No, they... Eldritch is banned. They couldn't have even got Mind Sapper. So what the... F like, what in the actual fuck happened to get that? 
Like, how many promotions are we talking about here? Yikes, yikes, yikes. I have high rolled before, but that's just, like, fucking next level. It's like everybody's got an A-bomb. Well, at least we want to fight. Okay, I was like, please don't match me in a Brotos key. God, I don't even have that good of a promotion. We might just take the Red Beast and promote it. Try to get a little bit ahead of the curve here. Fucking dud. Well, at least it'll be a good way to get a six cost treasure. I just don't see myself surviving that long, unfortunately. That was uh, just not that good of a situation what just happened there. Could also just get six health here. Or alternatively, four health. Let's take four health. That's definitely worth it. Do we just get rid of this blood mage? 14, 6, 3, 6. Yeah, let's get rid of the blood mage. Let's run that there. Um, in the name of trying to, you know, live, I think this is okay. So we're going to have to... problem is Gordo's not going to be dying. This is going to be very hard to get top four. Because just look at what we're, what we're dealing with. Like, the god nuts draw Baron here. We got Zoe, who is Zoe. We got Boss Fratu, who's... I guess we're going to beat him here. Uh, unless some shenanigans here happen. No, that's... Yeah, we got this. So we beat this. Maybe we can beat DX Gray for top four. But, like, Brotos, we probably can get there. Um, well, the Gordo did just lose, though. Maybe not all is lost, then. We could run Hellfire Cannon in slot one. Shark could just come to the back. It doesn't need to be in slot one. I do lose some value, though. Because what I'd have to do is run Serpentina slot five for that. I think right now I'm just getting too much out of the safety helm for that to make sense. Uh, Brotusk is... Okay, we'll take this, get it going. That's good. I, I can't justify taking that. Oh god, this is a little bit yellow at this low of mana. Uh, give me some free mana. Okay, we're selling for that. Um, Anemonot, maybe? Because these all still make sense, and I'm doubling it. I guess we go fucking... I don't know. Maybe that was not the best. I didn't really want to do the cavalry, though. I guess I could have done the Great Bite. Maybe I'm being too greedy running it there. Oh, well. I mean, it is an upgrade to my deck. It's it's okay. It's not the worst thing in the world. But it is not, like, a massive... Massively good thing. So, let's see. If we run right into MOTF Games, we're going to switch the station to the back... I guess right on five maybe, and then we'll put Blood Mage over, put the gut, the Gecko in front of it, so I can get resummon value. Maybe it depends on what happens, right? But we'll see. All right, we're top four. We did it, and as predicted, we're fucking facing the top guy again. Even though I've spent nine rounds since I saw that guy, sure, sure. Uh, let's fucking go. Um, uh, I'm almost certain that they're running some overkill shit, so. Uh, these are my six costs. We're committing to this as our six costs. Alright, who's getting the health? I mean, we're just not winning this fight. So, like, the health almost doesn't matter on anybody. We might as well actually just keep rolling, maybe. Unless we think long run, this is worth it. I don't know. Maybe it's worth it here. 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 Like, shark, maybe. But it's in this fight, it's not worth it. Let's keep going. There we go. And let's, uh, uh, overkill. 
it's whatever, it's fine. It's only a double on that Bastation now. Hmm. And we'll lose this fight for sure. Maybe we can take the World Eater out. Doesn't look like it. Shit. Alright. This really sucks to face that instead of the Zoe. At least we're facing a, a thing here, though. Is damage good on anyone? Maybe the Tina. We don't want to lose to the Ghost. Let's not overestimate the Ghost. Let's see if we can get Enchanted Clay. Okay, that's good. Man, we are so far behind, like... Okay, there's that. We'll lock it. Um, what to do, what to do, what to do. This six cost treasure can hopefully give me some direction, I guess. Probably need to like YOLO Hellfire Pact, uh, Hope for High Tracks, I don't know. I'm trying to think what even can help me here. Like maybe Siege could help me a little bit, but I definitely cannot give up the safety helm. It's my only chance at doing anything here. Like I don't know what the Zoe has, but maybe we can get a Maybe we can survive against Zoe and survive long enough to somehow find Hydrax and then I have a chance against MOTF games. Alright, we kill that. That's good. There's Vampire Bats. Nope, that was Vampire Bats hits. Uh, are we gonna lose this? Jesus, dude, we're gonna fucking lose. Oh, the Clan Lord's gonna fucking beat me. God damn it. What the fuck, man? So stupid. How the fuck in hell does that shit fucking happen? It's because I, of course, have to run into his great fucking bite. <sighs> fuck Calvin, man.